Shore Sports Zone's coverage of Colts Neck is brought to you by Hit Training. We've got a great game at Colts Neck High. The Cougars looking for their second one of the season, hosting winless Monroe. Both teams left it all out on the field. How about this? First play from scrimmage. Joey Lombardo, the option pass. Look at that grab by C.J. Lea. See you later. 80 yards. That was awesome. Two-point conversion makes it 8-0. Then the Cougars' defense gets going early. Bryce Campbell with the big sack down at the one-yard line. Colts Neck gets it back with great field position, and it was the start of a big game for Carmen Katina. This, a 29-yard touchdown run, 14-0. Looks like blowout city, but hang on. Katina with a big run here, 23 yards. The drive would stall, and then Monroe would get things going. This is Carlton Coleman. The big fella rumbling into the zone. 20 yards, we've got a 14-8 game. Great play here by Colts Neck. This is Liam Abu Jaude on the fake punt. Bold move. Great run to the 19-yard line. Colts Neck would drive it down to the one-yard line, looking to go up 21-8, but Hayden Volk loses the handle. Monroe recovers. And just like that, the tide can turn quickly because here comes Carlton Coleman, and he's got nothing but daylight in front of him. 99 yards. Touchdown, Monroe. It's a 15-14 game. Colts Neck is down one. Joey Lombardo sharing snaps with Hayden Volk at quarterback. Great pass here to Sean Scully to the 13. And it would lead to this. Karma Katina, second touchdown of the game. Great running right there. 13 yards, 20 to 15. Colts Neck has the lead at halftime. Third quarter. Here comes Monroe back to take the lead. Carlton Coleman had a huge game. A 99 yard touchdown. And how about a 73 yard touchdown on top of that? It's 21 20. Monroe is up one. More third quarter. Hayden Volk, twin brother Matt Volk, 17-yard gain. This drive would stall. They go to the fourth quarter. Colts Neck down one. It's fourth and five. Isaiah Johnston can't come up with the catch, so Colts Neck takes over later. Monroe has a chance to kick a field goal, but it's blocked. It went off a lineman, and then the ball pops out, and Liam Abu has got it. What a huge special teams play there. Abu Jade takes it all the way down to the 37. How about this for redemption? Isaiah Johnson missed that fourth and goal play from the five. Look at this tremendous interception. Monroe has it up one with 425 to go. But the tide turns right back because on the first play after that turnover, it's a fumble. The Cougars recover at the six yard line. Carmen Katina is going to take care of business. This, a one-yard touchdown. Colts Neck takes the lead, 26-21. And the Cougars are going to go for two. And check this out. Abu Jade to Joey Lombardo. The extension. Yeah, that's two points. That is an amazing play. Take a look at it again. Lombardo is able to get it over the plane of the goal. 28-21 Colts Neck, 3.37 to go. The Colts Neck defense has to make one more stop, and here it comes. Big stick here. That's Joey Moriello. He caused the fumble. He's on the bottom of the pile, and he is going to wind up with the football. And take a look at the determination and the grit. No one was going to take that ball away from Joey Moriello. And that play seals a victory for Colts Neck High. The Cougars get a 28-21 win over Monroe. Karma Katina runs for 126 yards and three touchdowns. And the great play by that Colts Neck defense. Derek Victor and Vincent Gargiulo both had 14 tackles apiece. A great win for Colts Neck, who continue to show signs that they're a program working towards getting back to winning ways. After the game, our Jay Cook got post-game reaction. 
from Carmen Katina and the head coach, Darian Barnes. The line, they're just plowing kids, making good holes. John Pross at fullback, he, he's the reason why there were a lot of holes also. So uh, we stuck together and just did what we had to do today. Again, I can't say enough about my tailback, Carmen Katina. Uh, he's one of the best backs in the shore. Uh, you know, another, another guy who, you know, without him in our O-line, you know, it would have been a long day. So I'm, I'm just happy for them, happy that we got this win and, and you know, try to close this out on a good note.